Hey, I'm Nikki Gilbert Daniels, writer, performer, producer, and advocate for women and girls in underserved communities. I'm most passionate about supporting women and girls of color because I believe that they deserve an equal opportunity, a purpose-driven and an empowered life, both personally and professionally. That's why I created my nonprofit organization, from the bottom of foundation.org, and initiatives like WORF Media, which is an acronym for Women in Reality, Film, TV, and Media. WORF aims to change the toxic, negative, destructive stereotypes and narratives that women of color face in the media. We believe that a national infrastructure that provides female content creators with platforms, resources, and opportunities to not just create, but to own and distribute content that not only entertains, but also uplifts, inspires, and empowers all women. Research has shown that the inclusion of women in media is essential to addressing racial and gender biases and inequities in employment, salaries, and most importantly, influence. My primary mission as an advocate is to improve the access that women and girls have to the tools, the resources, and the opportunities, the information that they need to thrive. We believe that the key to success begins with learning how to own your own intellectual properties, your stories, your songs, your creative ideas, the things that you come up with. These things have often been denied to us through various ways, such as gender pay gaps, racial and gender discrimination, misogyny, and flat out theft of our ideas, our creative intellectual properties. Owning our own content or intellectual properties is the key to helping provide our communities with generational wealth and generational wellness. According to the Journal of Gender, Social Policy, and Law, while individual black artists have without question benefited from the intellectual property system, the economic effects of IP deprivation on the black community have been devastating. Intellectual property today is perhaps the preeminent business asset. And analysts recognize that blacks and other minorities in a market economy cannot participate as equals unless they too can deploy the private power generated by ownership and control of those substantial assets. Our community deserves the opportunity to participate as equals, and we don't deserve to have our preeminent business assets stolen or infringed upon. In effort to bring awareness to issues impacting creatives and our ability to have meaningful participation in the properties that we create, I'm launching the Fight for Worth campaign. In launching this campaign, I'm not just fighting for myself. I'm fighting for any and every creator who has or will have to deal with the debilitating, heartbreaking, infuriating reality of having someone violate your creative, your intellectual, and your civil rights. My team and I thought long and hard before we decided to address this publicly. And while I will not comment on ongoing litigation, I wanted to share this campaign with my family, with my friends, with my supporters, with my business colleagues, in the spirit of transparency and clarity. As a 30-year veteran of the entertainment industry, I am clear that women of color are often viewed as difficult, emotional, or not tethered to reality. There have been numerous instances where I've had to keep my mouth shut and suck it up just for the sake of not losing my livelihood. There's no question about the contributions that African Americans have made to music, to film, to TV, to all media. We've long been undervalued. And contrary to the billions of dollars that we generate for large corporations for decades, this time I've decided to fight. I've decided to not only fight, but to document every step of the journey, good, bad, or indifferent. Because I believe <laughs> that this transparency is gonna educate, it's gonna inform, it's gonna inspire future generations of content creators to protect yourself, to protect yourself and others from the pitfalls of this business. For me, this litigation is about advocating for the voiceless. It is about advocating for us because we deserve the right to protect the high value, preeminent business properties that we create. Those assets that we create for the benefit of not just ourselves, but our families and our communities and the overall wealth and wellness of underserved people. I would be remiss if I did not mention those of us in the industry who represent our community, but do not spread the wealth and opportunities back into the community. If you are the only one in a room who represents your community, I challenge you. I challenge you to find ways to bring others who look like you into those rooms. We owe each other the loyalty and the honor 
of not being selfish, not being envious, not being a tool that is used to perpetuate the negative damaging stereotypes in our community. Those depictions that degrade, devalue our gifts and our talents. It is time for our leaders in the industry and the media to step up. It's time for us all to take accountability for others who look like us. It's time for us to have equitable partnerships and opportunities to truly build legacy for our future generations. Worth Media is positioning itself to be proactive versus reactive. At Worth Media, we believe that content is both king and queen, and those who create it should be treated as such, and at the very least, treated as equals. We welcome all who believe in our mission to entertain, educate, inspire, and build generational wealth and wellness in our communities, and we're gonna do it together with you using the most powerful tool in the universe, the media. Please subscribe to worthmedia.com now for more details and information on the pending litigation. And please subscribe to follow my personal journey to fight for worth. Thank you for listening.